Hey, what's going on YouTube? Jolani from Jolani the Marketer here, back again with another video. And in this video, guys, I'm gonna be talking about how to set up a professional business email. So like if you have a domain like jolanithemarketer.com and you want a professional business email, so jolani at jolanithemarketer.com, something like that, you can get that totally free. So I'm gonna be using a service called Zoho and we're gonna also need a um, domain provider. So I'll show you guys how to set that up. But before I do that, definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel, hit that alert button so you know when I release new videos and just stay tuned for amazing content because I'm always giving away free stuff. All right, so let's get right into it. So what you're gonna need is to click the link below um, and you're gonna be able to get access to this thing called Zoho. Now Zoho used to have a free way to completely um, get a free business email and they since then so about a year ago they took that away um, but this little trick is great because it, it brings it back basically so basically we're gonna be using the EU version of Zoho so Zoho has a US version um, which is just zoho.com and then they have a EU European Union version that's EU right so we're gonna be using that so just click the link below to get access to that and then you'll be able to um, set it up so what you're going to do is you're going to get your domain. So in this case, we're going to be using a domain from name.com. Um, that's what I use to get my domains. You can use GoDaddy, you can use Bluehost, anything like that. Um, it's pretty much all the same setup. So you're going to be um, getting access to that. And then um, you want to go to your DNS records. So in this example, I'm going to be using PassiveIncomeOnline.live. It's just a random domain that I have just laying around that I don't really use. So this is perfect for that. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab that domain right you're gonna go back to zoho and you're gonna insert that domain here on the screen here so where it says uh get custom email address for your business you're just gonna enter that domain there and click on add right and then what you're gonna do is give the information that it asks for so it's asking for the name it's asking for the contact email in this area here you're gonna to want to enter a email that can be um that can be used to recover. So for example, if you lose this information, you wanna you know, recover your password or for, uh, recover your username, then you wanna have a, um, an email that they can use. So let's actually use a different one because it seems that I already have one in here. Um, so we can use that one. And then what you wanna do for administrator account is have um, whatever you want in front of that domain. So for example, Jelani at PassiveIncomeOnline.live, info at PassiveIncomeOnline.live, anything like that you can put anything you want here so let's just use info for example and then we can give ourselves a password um, make sure that it matches and then agree to the terms and then you click on sign up okay <clears throat> make sure that let's actually make sure that you have a, um, a contact email that's not been used before um, otherwise it's not going to work like right now it's giving me a little bit of issue so let's actually just put in the same email address as the administrator um, account and we just click sign up and everything should we go should be good to go and then it's going to say give us a second we're going to create your account so you just got to wait like a second or two and then it'll um, give you the next steps and what you need to do in order to set this up it's really simple um, but you, like I said I'm gonna give you guys step-by-step um, -step guide on how to do this so once you set up that information what you're gonna be able to do is start going and adding the records that you need to to your DNS okay so what you're gonna want to do is either select your DNS from the drop-down so for example mine is here name.com if you're using something that's not as popular it may not be here but that's okay you can just select others um, which should work the same way so just, I'm going to select name.com and then I'm going to follow the directions that um, appear on the screen, okay? So what we're going to do here is hop back over to our name.com account, select DNS records, and then what you want to do is select a CNAME record here and then come back here. Actually, I think it's a text record. Let's, let's double check because um, they tell us. Yeah, text record. Cool. But you can do it a CNAME method or you can do it the HTML method depending on what your um, DNS provider is. So let's just follow the directions. So the host is gonna be at, or you can leave it blank, same thing. And then we're just gonna copy this value and then um, put the answer here. We're gonna click on add record. And then we are going to click on proceed to text verification. It's gonna say, great, the text records of the domain are verified. So click on verify now. Um, 
Let's do that again. It said an error. So this happens sometimes where it just says error and it's because the, um, the system hasn't propagated yet. So it seems that it may have went through now. So let's try that one more time. Um, Name.com for some reason takes a while to propagate, meaning that it takes some time for this for their systems to kind of connect with Zoho. Um, but it should verify. And if it doesn't verify, we can try the CNAME record way. It's totally fine. It's weird though, because it keeps saying that it is verified and then it's not verified. Text record invalid CNAME. So let's just copy this over one more time and just make sure that everything is set up correctly. Um, like I said, it does, sometimes it does take, for some reason, name.com does not update as quickly as other DNS records, which is kind of sucky, but there we go. Okay, finally. All right, so now what we want to do is you want to make sure that this is correct. So like if you want to change this, you can now like, if you don't want it to say info at passiveincomeonline.live, you could have it business.passiveincomeonline.live or you know your first name, um, secure, whatever you want, you can change it up here. And then once you're satisfied with that, you just click create account. And then what we're gonna do um, is click skip. You can add users if you want, I never do. You can just click on skip. Groups, I never add groups as well, you don't really need to. Um, here we need to set up some MX records. So what we're going to do is go back to our DNS records and go to type, go to MX, and then we're going to give the address here. Leave it, leave the host blank, or you can put at the same thing. And then you want to make sure the priority is correct. So the priority here is 10. Um, and then we want to do the same thing two more times. And then the priority for these last two are different. Also the address is different, so make sure you check on that. Make sure the priority here is 20. And then we'll make sure the priority on this last one is 50. Boom. All right, and then we're gonna click on add record. Um, honestly, this is probably gonna do the same thing where like it didn't update or it won't update like immediately. Yeah, so honestly, if it doesn't update in the first like 30 seconds to a minute, just like click next and it'll, it'll be fine. Um, the next thing we're doing, we're gonna verify the SPF record. So the next thing is a text record. So you wanna go back to your DNS, um, go to text, put at there, and then the answer is gonna be this right here. And then you wanna just re remove all those spaces, click add record. And then it should be good to go. So then we can click skip. Um, we don't need to migrate anything because, so Zoho allowed you previously, if you had a free account that you could um, sync up your Gmail. So like you can log into your regular Gmail account and send emails from your professional business account. They no longer allow that. Um, so you would have to sign into Zoho itself to access the email, which is fine because honestly the, the interface for Zoho is completely um, updated and it looks really nice. So I don't have any problem with um, doing that. So next thing you do is just click on skip. Click on skip again and then it should say great your basic setup is complete and then we can go to the Zoho workplace um, and then access our mail. And it'll say you know info at passive income online dot live loading um, and then we can access our email so we can actually tell people hey you know, reach out, reach out to me here rather than, you know, your Gmail account or your Yahoo account, which doesn't look as professional than having, you know, Jelani at whatever.com, right? Whatever domain name.com that you have. It looks more professional. It looks better for your business to have a professional business email. So this is how you do it, guys. Really simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions or comments, leave a comment below. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and hit that alert button because I always release new content like this, new videos, new tutorials, also free courses sometimes, so definitely hit that alert button. And like this video if you like this. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you have any other suggestions, please leave a comment or email me. I'm open to anything. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.